This is the Bekaa Valley in Lebanon, a place where Syrian refugees have fled to escape the violence in their homeland. They now live here, in makeshift settlements, where there are shortages of food, water, and shelter. For years, their homeland has been engulfed in a civil war that has torn their lives apart. Homes, schools, and hospitals destroyed by bombs, cities starved, the economy in ruins. Millions of Syrians, school children, doctors, engineers, teachers, parents, forced to flee for their lives. I saw bombs. I saw buildings falling down. I saw houses on fire. I saw people slaughtered. I even saw a man with a bullet in his head and blood on the streets. My son Ali will never forget the slaughtered people we saw on our way from Syria. It's hard. I can't forget because I saw it with my own eyes. I was scared and asked what was going on. My mother took us and we fled. This valley has become home to thousands of refugee families. Syrian parents who once had good lives and hoped the best for their children now raise them in places like this. And still the devastating impact of this conflict on a generation of Syrian children continues to grow. Ali escaped from Syria with his family over four years ago. This is now their home. Having fled Syria with nothing, Ali, who is just 13, spends his days working to help his family survive. Every morning, Ali goes to work. I'm choking and my heart breaks. Every day, a little bit more every time he goes. It's really the most difficult thing I'm facing. I used to play and go to school in Syria. Our situation is very bad. My father is sick and he can't work. My brother and I go to work. I sell every day. Tissues, biscuits, things like that. Ali is alone, vulnerable. The oldest of five brothers, he must provide for his family. On a good day, he brings home around four dollars. We use Ali's money to pay the rent and electricity. Seeing Ali going to work every day is definitely not a good feeling. Seeing him selling tissues on the street makes me feel sad. He should be in school. He's 13 years old. He should be in grade 9 now. Ali's story is common. And yet many children are worse off. Across Lebanon, Jordan, Turkey, and inside Syria itself, there are millions of boys and girls like Ali whose childhoods are being lost. This is a safe place where children can sing, laugh, and dance. They can restart their education. They can talk to trained experts who help them recover from the horrors of war. They can feel safe. These safe places are providing children with respite and hope, not just here in the Bekaa Valley, but across the region. Children and families depend on them. They are places where children can be children again for a few precious hours. Millions of children have now been out of school for years. Children working to support their families. Children exposed to exploitation and abuse. Young girls married too young. And young boys who have become the heads of their household. Meanwhile, inside Syria, Tens of thousands of children are cut off from any aid and every day being killed and injured. Syrian parents are losing hope that things will ever get better. But small things, seeing their children play, receiving food aid or getting help in the darkest times, keep them going. Protecting their children, educating their children, 
giving their children a future. These are the things parents everywhere want. Syrian parents are no different. If you have the power to help, to give, to advocate, to pray for Syria's children and for peace, please do.